Button. Boop. That's hit. Buttons are hit. <sighs> you look glum. No, not glum. I was just collecting my thoughts. I gotcha. I was in thought collection. Cool. What, what like I said, I, I literally stopped like five minutes before now. Yeah. I've been going to bed earlier and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't help. I still wake up tired. Yeah, you know the whole catching up on sleep thing is a myth, right? Oh, God, that I'm never going to catch up. I'm always going to be behind. Yeah. It's all it's over just, now. It's sleep. Like, once you, once, if you don't get it, then it's it's gone. You lose it. Yeah. Well, it's just, I mean, not necessarily catch up, but your body can be reset for the next day, right? Well, I mean, unless you haven't had adequate sleep and then you're just tired. But it's not like... It's not like if you go to sleep early, then it like resets your clock. You well, just it's get, yeah. you just get sleep that night. Yeah, it's quality sleep too. Like you got to get like the nice like REM sleep and the REM cycle. I don't know. Some days when I'm just like pooped out, like like this time of year especially because it's like every weekend something busy, and like we finally. Get I've a learned to live on like six hours. Uh, I mean, I can. Like, I only, I only sleep six hours. I usually only sleep six hours a night. I sleep. I'm probably about. I mean, if you look at like what I actually sleep, because I got the Fitbit. Yeah, it's usually under seven. I don't know. There's days where like if I uh like where I have like that sleep, like I go to bed at like eight, wake up at like nine the next day. Like I usually feel a little better. No, what happens to me is like I'll like have six hours for like three or four or five days in a row, and then. One day it'll just be eight. So is it your sleep? So do you go to bed at like midnight and get up at six kind of thing? Or do you just like get in bed? Yeah. The wife's like, oh my God, Rich, I can't keep my hands off you. You're so hot. And you're like, babe, I need eight hours of sleep. No, it's the first one. Oh, okay. It's it was, the first one. Because <laughs> if it was the other one, we'd just be so happy. It's like, oh my God, I only got four hours of sleep last night. I don't care. La, 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 la. <laughs> It's a beautiful morning. <laughs> Wives are like, man, you've been so so like happier since we've had like mid sleep booty. It's like, yeah, I have been. It's like you what you oh, want you want you want new shoes? You wanna you wanna borrow my truck? Sure, go ahead, because I know I'm mm-hmm. gonna get mm-hmm. midnight booty. Mid sleep booty. That sounds nice. It does. Although at my age right now, like if she did wake me up, I'd be like, well, oh. now I'm glum. Thanks. <laughs> well, we're going to have a lot of work this episode because there is a new movie coming out. And this story was on our list of things to talk about years ago. And I think the reason that we didn't talk about it is because there's not really much to the story, but they somehow made a whole movie about it. So we're going to have to this. I'm hoping this is one of those like it's a three paragraph story, but we turn it into an hour long podcast. So, OK, OK. I mean, it's not outside the realm of possibility. Yeah. I mean, we did a whole hour on the Hall of Fame, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. So make a little from a lot. Yeah. That's what my wife says about me. Oh, and that's why you sleep six hours because <laughs> you spend because you spend two hours just laying in bed filled with existential dread. <laughs> Don't touch it. It's small. <laughs> All right. We're going to do a show. <gasps> what up? I was going to say you're going to walk by and not say hi. Oh, well, I can't hear you because he has the headphones on. Oh, I was just waving. I figured you wouldn't be able to hear me. How's life? <laughs> Uh, good. Look at my new bag. Ooh, I like it. Yeah, I got a raise at work, so then I bought an expensive bag. She wants everybody to love it because it's way because it was way too expensive. It was only like yeah, one hundred ninety-five dollars. One hundred ninety-five dollars for a bag. A bag. There better not be booze in it. Well, I'm making nineteen dollars an hour now, so you know what? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah you got to treat yourself if you like yeah, you can it. Go you can go to all like these. You can get money. a bag. 45 cents. Wow. That's true. You actually can't get one for 45 cents. Yeah. Hey, just but working you, all the time. But, but you do. You, oh, you're working all the Where are you working at now? Yeah. Fuji. Fuji. Nice. Are you doing waitress or? 
Man, oh, nice. Congratulations. So when I'm in town, I need to stop by? Then I buy a car, and then it's bye-bye, Mom and Dad. Bye. Yeah? You're going to live in the car? No. Oh. You can live in a car. What'd you say? I said you talk about it all the time. It's like, I just don't want her to leave. Uh-huh. Yep, I say it all the time. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> yep, I say it all the time. I'm going to get a drink now. And then I also say she needs to start paying rent. <laughs> and then she breaks out into song. <laughs> I had to shut the gate to the kitchen because I made salmon for dinner tonight. And there's like, like I trim it before I cook it and the pieces mm-hmm. are in the garbage and I didn't want the dogs to Oh yeah, get in the garbage. I've had to They're more like- apt to get in the garbage to, Tonight more than other nights because there's raw salmon in there. Yeah. I kind of like do the whole, because I, I, we keep the dogs in our kitchen in the morning. So I will put the garbage, like the trash can in our spare room and, or not spare room, but like our laundry room and shut the door because I don't want to tempt them because I know that's what they'll do. They'll knock it over and be like, oh, coffee grounds. Nom, 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 nom. (laughs) What's this left of it? Half of a chocolate bar. Rah, 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 rah. Nah, rah, rah. Oh, God. <laughs> I made a mistake. I better eat this used up paper towel. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, look, That'll floss. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't poop now. Quick, grab the string and pull. <laughs> Dogs are gross. Yeah, you gotta love it when there's a piece of string coming out of their mouth and out of their ass. Yeah. And then you're then you're sitting there going, is that connected? <laughs> yeah. Which end should I pull from? One way shitty for the dog, one way shitty for you. <laughs> of course the dog doesn't yep. care. They eat their own poop anyway, so you start pulling from the front, it's like, hey, I was eating that. <laughs> and that, and that, and that. <laughs> mm, I've only had to do that to one of our dogs. My mother in law had to do it for our big dog, Axel. I guess he had some string from his uh, blanket he chewed up on. But the gate's up, so no dogs are eating raw salmon tonight. What about tomorrow? All right, now we're going to do a show. Okay. Okay. (laughs) What's up, everybody? I'm Richard. And I... I'm sure. And we are speaking the language of bromance today. Sean, you're going to tell me about a thing that both of us saw. And I was like, see. this sounds familiar. Why does this sound familiar? And then I said something about it to you and you were like, hey, this is why it sounds familiar. Yeah. So, Richard, they just dropped a trailer for probably what will be the best movie of 2023. Uh, I think we've already got our episode slated. We're going to bring John on to review it. I'm probably going to see it like a half dozen times. I might even go (laughs) see it while I'm I'm part of what this is. This is two of the greatest words ever, Richard. Cocaine bear. Yeah. So, I mean, really, I mean, when you, you hear it, and then you're, I mean, the, the first question you, you don't have to ask is wonder what that movie's about. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, I think John mentioned it's like snakes on a plane or like yep. the greatest unmade movie of all time. Zombie bear. Yep. You're like, what's that about? It's a zombie bear. It's all in the title. Yeah. It's all right there. Yeah. So I'm all for it, but this Richard, so the movie's not out yet. And uh, I went back and looked at. This was on our list of things to talk about like a year or two ago because I saw a thing about it. And I was like, holy shit, that's got to be the coolest story ever. The Trello board failed you. It did because I think I looked deeper into it and the actual true story, as with most like based on a true stories, not a lot of substance. So we're going to have to make up a lot of stuff that happened. And I imagine, because the trailer for Cocaine Bear looked amazing. Like, I don't think we can top it. Like, maybe we make Cocaine Bear 2 party in like, isn't it, Chicago. I, I, I mean, doesn't it just strike you as one of those, like, like, don't you feel like, like, I, it's one of those movies that you watch and you like, I want to be, I want to 
I would I think a better movie would have been the pitch meeting for this movie. Like well, I it, would watch that probably three or four times to like just a bunch of like old white dudes sitting in a executive boardroom and this guy comes in and he's like, listen, so it's a bear that's on cocaine. And wait, then some, wait, wait. And then of course, you know, like somebody's going to raise their hand and be like, what does the bear do? Uh, whatever he wants because he's on cocaine. Yeah. Like he's a bear on cocaine. You're not going to stop him. But like when I saw that trailer for it, I was like, oh my God, like this is probably going to be the worst like CGI, like worst movie ever. Richard, this has like an A list cast. Maybe like A list cast me, at one point. Tell me who's in it. Uh, well, let's start with one. Uh, what was the show she was in? Let me look it up real quick. Um, what movie? What show was it? I have no idea. It was a great CW. Movie, Honestly, I I I watched the trailer like three or four days ago, and so my my memory on it is a bit fuzzy, but it's fine because I know exactly what the movie is. It's a it's a bear. There's a bear and there's cocaine involved. Oh, I thought she was in like girl like oh Felicity. Yeah, that was a show she was in. Felicity. Carrie Russell's in this movie. Okay. She's the lead. Uh O'Shea Jackson Jr. He was in Den of Thieves, straight okay. out of Compton. Uh let's see. We've got Kershavov, Hivju, Redbeard from Game of Thrones. That's who he is. And Richard in his last movie ever, Ray Liotta. Oh, that's right. Yeah, from great movies, Field of Dreams, Goodfellas. Does it make you... Wild Hogs. How do you feel about that? Like, the last movie? Like, like, we're talking about Ray Liotta. Like, Goodfellas fucking Ray Liotta. Like, this guy was directed by Scorsese. You know, I'm going to say this. The last... Like, the signature on on his career... Is cocaine bear. Yeah, but like this isn't like, you know, Shudder presents cocaine bear with a two million or like a two thousand dollar budget. Like this is by Universal Pictures. You know, they've that's, made some that's true. They've made some good flicks and like the acting seemed legit in this. So if it's a good enough like if it's a dark comedy done right, like think of Shaun of the Dead, right? Like if it's done in that kind of mindset, like it'll be a good movie. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you think about like Snakes on a Plane. Like Snakes on a Plane wasn't terrible. Like it, like you know, it wasn't. I mean, not Oscar worthy, but it was this watchable. Is, this is directed by uh, Elizabeth Banks too. Oh, really? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, there's a lot of big names like tied to this. Big and bigger names than I would expect. I see. I like I said, I think the real story is whoever's brainchild this was, it's them selling this to people. Like, I'm a like he, like, the, like him, like a guy, like it's some guy. Let's call him, I don't know, let's the executive producer, whoever the executive producer is. I don't know his name. Let's call him Steve. So Steve sits down with Elizabeth Banks and they're like, fucking, they're like, it's some like, cool trendy restaurant in downtown LA and she's like okay so so why did you invite me to lunch today and steve is like listen i want you to direct this movie about a bear on cocaine and then she'd be like what does the bear do and then she's like and then steve says i don't know cocaine stuff <laughs> I don't know. What do you do when you're on cocaine? Why well, go around murdering hobos? Yeah, that's what the bear yeah. does. Except, like, he- well, obviously that's what that's what anybody does when they're on cocaine. Yeah, he's like, well, I mean, except he eats the hobos. It's like, wait, you don't eat the hobos when you're high on cocaine? They're delicious. A little yeah, gamey, but it's an out. Yeah, you just put a little extra cocaine on it when you eat it. Mm, it's delicious. Then you're ready for round. Like, that's two. what I want to see. I want to see. This could be, uh, I want it to be like a five part series of Steve selling cocaine bear. Like what? Uh, there was a fuck. What was, uh, there was a show on Paramount 
and it was about the making of The Godfather. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, The Offer. I think, yeah, it was called The Offer. And it had, uh, God damn it, I forget his name. Oh, because it was like, it was a, like a, it was actually a movie, right? Like it wasn't a documentary. Yeah, it was, it was like a, it was like a dramatization. Yeah. Um, and it so, was, it was about, it centered around, uh, the producer of the, the producer of the movie, like basically going around and trying to get this movie. Miles Teller played, uh, Albert Ruddy, who was like the executive producer. And he was like going around, like trying to get this movie made. So he had to sell it to the studio, like sell the idea to the studio, sell the idea, kind of sell the idea to Coppola and, you know, like had like getting these actors. I want that, but I want it for this movie. Well, and it sounds like it almost be like the room when they did the movie, the room, like the, not the room room, but like they made yeah, the, the yeah. movie about making the movie, the room. Holy shit. That'd be yeah, amazing. Yeah. Like you sell this as like a master artist. Yeah. And this is like Elizabeth Banks. Like, I think you um, could have James Franco play Steve and it would be just fine. Yeah. I'd be down for that. It would totally but, track. Well, and I feel like, like, listen, it's a bear and he's on cocaine. Oh, and like the whole thing is you know like people have questions. Be like, why, why would anybody watch a movie about a bear on cocaine? And then well, Steve would say, because it's a bear on cocaine. Yeah. Well, and, I, oh, yeah, and like you play this as like Elizabeth Banks, like a uh, passion project. Well, and you could also play like the whole like thing about this is that the FBI is raiding like this production company and they got like all this cocaine and they're like, you're under arrest for fucking selling cocaine. Like, no, no, no. We're making a movie. It's like porn. Like when you pay for sex, it's not illegal. If you videotape, that's what we're doing with this cocaine. <laughs> What's the movie about? Uh, it's, a- are you, are you actually feeding cocaine to a bear? <laughs> No, we put that no. little thing about no animals harmed at the end There's of the movie. There's a bear in the next room, isn't there, sir? Uh, <laughs> is it on cocaine? Uh, Crash. I plead the fifth. <laughs> <laughs> Door cr- I don't want to incriminate that myself. in court, sir. <laughs> is there a cocaine hopped up bear in the next goddamn room? And Listen. You know what? Oh, my God. Okay, so here's what happens, right? Here's what happens. So Steve is trying to sell this fucking cocaine bear movie. And in the process, he wants to understand what an actual bear on cocaine (laughs) would do. And so then he gives cocaine to a bear and then shit that happens is basically shit. He puts in the movie. Oh, I like that idea. Well, it starts like he gives him a little bit. He's like, well, it is a big bear. So we got to give him more. I like the whole rating of the FBI where they say, like, he's like, I plead the fifth. Like, that's in court. Like, well, I'm just practicing my right to bear arms. <laughs> like, sir, I don't think that's what that means. Well, I got I four said of them. bear arms. <laughs> and then the door bursts open. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, shoot it. No, you sons of bitches. This is a PETA friendly office. It's a bear on cocaine. What's shooting it going to do? And then the bear just goes fucking crazy. And then Steve is like, I am putting all of this in the movie. And the end of the movie. Or the end of the series, the end of this five parts. Oh, my God. And then you can take, like, the cocaine hopped up bear to go, like, visit people. And that's how how you get them in the movie. Like, Elizabeth Banks is like, I don't want to do this. (laughs) And And then Steve is like, well, maybe you won't listen to me, but maybe you'll listen to... Bobo. Oh, holy <laughs> shit, is that bear cocaine? He doesn't like to be told no. And then she's like, what 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 do you do with the bear of cocaine? And he's like, I don't know. It just uh, I'm just watching it and see what happens. And then Elizabeth well, Banks is like, Well, can I can can I ride it? Can you ride the cocaine field bear? I guess. I mean, if you hold on for eight seconds, we give you a score. And you just have a you just have a shot. You have a shot of the of a coke of a fucking coked up bear running down <laughs> fucking La Brea Bull, Sunset Boulevard with Elizabeth Banks on its back. Just going, and it's like Wee! that. You, 
<laughs> yeah, you do it like you do it like fucking Falcor in the Never Ending Story. It was like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, uh, so you how they so play the music from the Never Ending Story, <laughs> and she's like, Wah! and it's Universal. They have enough money to get that. Well, and, like Ray Liotta, <laughs> like you know, they get to him because like, man, we need him in here for Dentwood. Like he is the perfect Dentwood. And they get to his house and. He's like, I'm not doing this. And, like, they show him the bear. I'm not doing your stupid fucked up movie. Yeah, and he sees him. It's, like, all powdered white. And he's like, is that a polar bear? I'm like, uh, no, it's a black bear, but... And then he you, slaps Ray? it, and then, all the, and then all the powder falls off. <laughs> Ray Liotta says, if we call it a polar bear, I'm in. There's got to be yeah. a polar bear joke in this, right? And then Ray Liotta at the end of the end of that episode, then Ray Liotta's like, I'm going to make this movie if it kills me. That's the dark humor. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just run it. And then you just say, you know, in loving memory and that, and then, you, and then credits. Oh yeah. And the documentary is like, well, how'd he die? It's like, well, Ray Liotta had a cocaine addiction and he had a bad heart and he relapsed during the <laughs> filming of this movie. So then so the way you here's the way you end this series though you fucking you fight club it right you find out the whole time that the there wasn't a cocaine fueled bear running around it was Steve it was coked up Steve in a bear suit and everybody was just like playing along because they were afraid Steve was gonna hurt him because he's fucking because he's all hopped up on 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 booger sugar. <laughs> I don't know why booger sugar makes me laugh so much. And so they're like, I don't want to make this dude mad, so I'll let him I'll let him pretend that he's a bear because he's all hopped up on coke right now. Yeah, I mean that's not the worst and thing. And so then you intercut in all bits and pieces from the other episodes. You have like Elizabeth Banks riding Steve down down the sidewalk. No, he's not. He, she's not riding him down the sidewalk. She's riding him down a hallway, and he only gets like three steps. He's like, <laughs> "Wee thud." It's like, "Yeah, we Valcor." <laughs> In the end, is this him going to Narcotics Anonymous? And that's when I hit my lowest. <laughs> <laughs> but the fucking that's, movie got made. Still wearing the bear outfit. <laughs> just the claws just the claws no it's my right we get it steve it's your right to bear arms credits yeah or i was thinking like at the end too if you want to make it more realistic where it is a bear like it's just like steve like cuddled up with a bear like crying like we did it we did it bobo we made our movie bobo we did it bobo you and me bobo Bobo had a heart attack. Oh, my God. And then Bobo, like, has a heart attack? Yeah. It's like, uh, what's the Johnny Depp movie? Blow. Yeah. Like, they're seeing their baby and be born. Ray Liotta dies from grief. Yeah. What did Ray Liotta die from? Probably something horrific. You're going to tell me something sad. I'm over here making jokes, and then you're going to hit me with the sad. I mean, they're they're grim jokes. Don't get me wrong, but. I didn't say, but he died in his sleep. On May 26th. Man, it was already May when he passed away. Curled up next to a bear. During the filming of Dangerous Waters in San Domingo, Dominican Republic. He was Shoeless Joe in Field of Dreams, Richard. That's one of my favorite movies. Oh, my God. You could do it like Free Willy. You know, you have the coked up bear, and then you're trying to get it, like, out into the wild. So you do, like, a road trip and try and get it to Mexico. Oh, because it's a circus There's bear. There's so many directions you could actually take this. Yeah, because it's a circus bear you know that goes that to means? California. You know what that means, Sean? The, you know what that means? That means that this whole, like, you can franchise this. Like, this oh, is yeah. begging. It's, it hasn't even come out yet, and it's already begging for a sequel. I agree. You could have Cocaine, a cocaine bear. bear road trip. Holiday road. Cocaine bear goes to college. Oh, cocaine bear goes to Hawaii. Yep. And you know who he meets in Hawaii, Richard? Weekend at Cocaine Bears. <laughs> Do you know who he meets in Hawaii, though? Uh, no. Who's he meet? I was cocaine trying to think. I... <laughs> <laughs> P. 
PCP shark. <laughs> I'm all fucked up on PCP. I don't need to be in the water. Yeah. Get back here, you douchebags. Cocaine bears swimming around. Oh, shit. Could you imagine PCP P- sharks swimming around? Yeah, PCP sharks like, I don't need to be in the water. And it comes like flopping out of the water, biting people on the beach. And you know the only person that can save us yeah, from PCP that- shark? Cocaine bear. Oh, don't say Cocaine Bear, because I was thinking they'd team up and it'd be like a buddy cop movie. It'd be like Cocaine Bear and PC Shark. PC <laughs> Shark. Wait, maybe that's when they go to Australia. So you have Cocaine Bear and then, like, what would Koala be? Oh, because they don't kill it. Oh, see, so it's like Batman v Superman. Yeah. Because then at the end they team up. Yeah, and then PCP Shark's your Joker. Mm-hmm. What other scary, like, drug-induced animals would there be? Like, could you imagine, like, a coked-up crocodile? Um, how would that act? I would think it'd just, like, roll around a bunch. I mean, they'd be faster. Do you get hungry when I you mean, do cocaine? I mean, basically, you could take eight. Not really. Okay. Uh, I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, okay, so... I feel like almost any sort of like movie that has had a crazed animal in it, you could basically just put the word, you you just basically be like, oh, it's cocaine that did it. Like the crocodile from Lake Placid, be like, oh, it's cocaine, cocaine made it mad. The sharks in Deep Blue Sea, it's cocaine. I think theirs was more like steroids, just, though, because they were just, just blame drugs for everything. Well, I mean, they they don't have a posable thumb, so they can't play video games. So, what are we supposed to blame? I feel like you need a you need a you need a bird, though. Oh shit! Could you imagine like heroin eagle? owl, like heroin? Oh, heroin hawk. So there's cocaine bear, PCP shark, <laughs> and heroin hawk. So what's and all they do and and they they're just like a trio, and they just go around and fucking get into jams. Well, I feel like this movie becomes like an after school special. It's like heroin hawks like sitting there picking <laughs> out his feathers. <laughs> I'll catch you a fish you for a bite, like a meth, man. Like a meth wolf. Uh I think you, you gotta just do, like, do so much. Yeah, I think it'd be like methed out coyote, because it'd be more Midwestern. It's kinda op- I mean it's like it open it really kind of opens the door to an entire genre almost. Yeah, I agree. Or a well, cougar. Oh what my you god, you do like meth cougar and then everybody will think it's porn. That's true. Yeah, so you get the perverts going in there be like, oh yeah. I'm like, oh man, I just learned a lesson. I this meth sucks. Cougar. Be like, wait a minute, this is a cat on drugs. Oh, but at least this it doesn't have its makes teeth. Me mad. <laughs> 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 yeah, well it's cool is like you make this just, like you do like the uh scary universal like horror movies for adults, but then you could do like an after school special. It's like you don't want to end up like the meth out cougar. Just say no, kids. Yeah. Or or almost okay, so you said universal, like this is how this is this is your new universal monster movie like dynasty. Yeah. It's just animals on dr- like dangerous animals on drugs. Yeah, and oh, they're gonna like Meth make this coyote, their- heroin cougar, cocaine bear, PCP shark. No, heroin hawk. Heroin Meth- hawk. Meth yeah. cougar, heroin hawk, PCP shark, and cocaine bear. I like it. Well, and the, like Universal owns See, the, the thing rights is, to is Jaws. Like, I don't know, like how many other? Oh my god! You, oh wait, wait, <gasps> fentanyl fox. <laughs> I'm just. <laughs> these are off the top of my head. These are. <laughs> This is so easy. No wonder they made it. Why did it take this long to make a movie? That's a good point. They're feel, pro- they come up with like four new ideas in the span of like five minutes. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, why don't they have us in these pitch meetings? So they'd be like, Cocaine Bear, what do you guys think? It's like, oh, my God, we got to franchise this shit. Yeah. This is, see, Sean, this is why we need, this is why we need to work in Hollywood. We need to be in development. Oh, yeah, and you could and still do this. And then they make a show about us. Trying to pitch these movies, and then Elizabeth Banks shows up at our office, and it's just a bunch of fucking drugged out animals all over the <laughs> office. I don't think that's humane. And yeah, like, they all died pretty pick. quick. Pick one. <laughs> when I like your and big Elizabeth team, Elizabeth Banks is like, all these animals are dead. 
<laughs> All these animals have overdosed and are dead. You've killed. This is a room full of dead animals, exotic animals at that. You should go to jail. You need to go to jail. We wouldn't. I mean, of those animals, none of them are exotic. They're all natural. They're all like native to the Americas. So we're we're fine. We just gotta make sure we got a tag. But like the big team up. So like you got Narcotics Anonymous, but it's Narcotic Animals. N A. Put that logo on their chest. Oh my yeah. god! And then it's like the Avengers, exactly. But they're an but they're high and they're animals. Yeah, and then you got the this Saturday is, morning this cartoon. Is this is amazing. Yeah. What's happening right now? Everybody's like, "Are you guys high on cocaine?" Oh my god! Oh my god! So I I saw this I saw this Vice documentary about uh this like really um this really cheap, ugly, crappy version, crappy version of heroin that they have in like the Eastern block. And it's called Sean. I'm not making this up. It's called crocodile. So you'd have the crocodile crocodile. Oh yeah. Oh, and they've got, and it would uh, have, Oh my God. And it, it would have like one of those like Euro trash accents. <laughs> well, and the American crocodiles on the rise, like they kind of thought they were pretty much gone, and they've said that they've started seeing more and more of them. You know why? Because all their their regular drugs are gone. They got to come back for the crocodile. Yeah. See, I'm just sitting here trying to think of more fentanyl. Fox. Who would like? I'm proud so of fentanyl. Like fentanyl Fox, Fox is pretty good. Yeah, PCP Shark, I like too. <laughs> PCP Shark's very good. <laughs> yeah. So what would they like? What would, would they be fighting crime, or like what would their like what would their arch nemesis be? The, okay, I no this it's this is easy. You do it like you do it like narcos, where like they're like basically their goal is to overthrow drug kingpins because they need the drugs. Oh, are they like and they're being like stalked by like a German shepherd like uh, FBI dog. <gasps> yeah, oh God, you're uh, yes. That's exactly what they would. Yes, it'd be a drug, and it would be a drug sniffing dog. Yeah, yeah, that's who they're going up against. Yep, but then you find out that the that the dog drinks. <laughs> <laughs> uh. It goes home, and the drug dog's wife is like. Have you put any of those animals away yet? And he's like, get off my back. And then he just starts like, you know, chugging whiskey. Well, he's like, get off my back, bitch. And she doesn't get mad because technically she is. Yep. Because she's a female dog. And then she's like, you want to make puppies tonight? And he's like, not now. She's I like, I'm in a day of work. <laughs> she's like, I'm in heat. Do you not find me attractive anymore? <laughs> Go back to your methed out cougar. You don't know how I have it. I bet if the methed out cougar showed you some showed you some tail, you'd jump right at it. To arrest them, dear. <laughs> God. You don't and, know me at all. And in the end you find out that she had him neutered years ago, and that's why he's fallen down the path he has. He has flashbacks to wearing the cone so of shame. Sad. That's why he started drinking. It's tragic, the, the, really. <laughs> he started drinking because of the pain of the neutering. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Oh, and that's see, that's how he gets involved because then, like, Fentanyl Fox is like, "Hey, you could do this. You could try some of this, and it would take the edge off of that, off of those stitches you got back there." And he's like, "No," and I'm gonna take you down. Oh shit, what you do? Like he got neutered, but she didn't know. And then she gets pregnant with puppies. And he's like, You couldn't, it can't be because I've been neutered. Terrible. Yeah. Tail as old as time. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel like the narc out of all this, like, would be some kind of like house cat. Mm -hmm. Just jonesing. Yeah. <gasps> what are they? For, for catnip. Yeah, well, what do they call the 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 people that are infor oh, informant? It'd be an informant cat. Yeah, catnip socks. But because yeah, because it got 
it got mixed up and it got mixed up in catnip and it couldn't it couldn't break away. Yeah. It can't drug sniffing oh the drug sniffing dog helped wean the cat off. Yeah. And so now now the cat keeps wanting to like relapse. I just need a little of that cat dip, man. See, now I'm picturing a dog like going through the doggy door in a hotel room and there's the cat like <laughs> fucking like, like with two paws full of catnip just like ah! just sitting there like agitatedly licking itself. Yeah, and then the dog's like get <laughs> you I can't believe you. You've been clean for months. <laughs> You've been Take cleaning you yourself for meeting. hours. <laughs> it's all I have. Yeah. Cat's like, go back to your bottle. Fido. It's not even <laughs> my name. That's offensive. That's offensive. <laughs> <coughs> Slings a dog bowl across the room. Security comes yep. up and it's a hippo. Meanwhile, cocaine bears in Colombia. Like eating Pablo Escobar. <laughs> and becomes Pablo Escobar. <gasps> okay, wait. <laughs> no, let's stop it right. Wait. If that joke is not in the movie, then mm-hmm. I want a refund. So that's not my joke because the bear has actually been uh, taxidermied in the mall in uh, Kentucky, I think it's at. And underneath it, it's called Cocaine Bear Pablo Escobar. So that's not my joke. Okay. But still, that better be in there. Yeah, if that joke isn't in the movie, then I demand a refund. Yeah. Like, this could be the best movie ever, and that joke's not in there. And you're like, I'm done. Where's Mrs. Banks' number? Because I have a complaint to file. (laughs) And some (laughs) movies to pitch. Dear Universal Studios, <laughs> I, I have watched in your <laughs> in your in your uh, in your film, and I'll put that in air quotes. Your film, Cocaine Bear. I was remiss when I found out that there was no Pablo Escobar joke. Postscript: I have some ideas for sequels. Fit no there fox. Are, there is low hanging fruit, and then there is that joke. The fact that you did not hit it out of the park angers me. <laughs> well, yeah, let me. P.S. I have idea. I have many other ideas for other animals on drugs. <laughs> for your universal narcotics animals universe, <laughs> the NAU. Copyright Richard and Sean Lee. And then you go see, and then you go to Universal, and you like, you know, like for Halloween Horror Nights, how they have all the mazes. You just have like a cocaine bear maze and heroin hawk maze. Well, that's what I'm saying. Big open field where this fucking drugged out hawk like swoops your head (laughs) as you're trying to like run across a field. Well, they got to cut out that like. Marvel stuff at some point because they don't own Marvel anymore, even though it's kind of the cartoony stuff, like that's the more comic book based. But they're going to need to replace that with yeah. like their new superheroes, and that's where that goes. You got your narcotic animals that go there, and that's where you put all that stuff. Well, let me uh, let me kind of t- see what you can spin off of the actual story. So, Richard, this comes from the New York Times. Oh, that's this- right, that's right. We had the actual story. Yeah, and this came out on the first by Amanda Hop Holpuk. So the trailer for a new movie called Cocaine Bear was released on Wednesday, and the film's title is not a metaphor or clever wordplay. The movie is about a bear high on cocaine. (laughs) So the bloody spree that follows the bear's cocaine binge, as depicted in the trailer, is fictional, but the story about a high bear is very real. Its lore is likely to grow with the movie, which was directed by Elizabeth Banks, and is set to release for February 24th. Steroid snake. Oh, shit. Yeah, steroid boa. A snake on steroids. Oh, God. Could you imagine, like, oh, and that would fit perfect in Florida with all the bow constrictors? Like, they've got their own, like, little gym in, like, the Everglades. And they're all wearing, like, and alligator it, like, skins. It just, like, squeezes the shit. It'd be like anaconda. It's anaconda, but it's a it's a snake on 
it's a snake on steroids. Yeah. It's all angry. Yeah. Balding. No, it's it's like shedding its skin like more than it needs to. Mm-hmm. All the time. God, that's probably what scared me the most. Like a steroid snake. Like bulging muscles in spots that shouldn't have bulging muscles. And it's constantly like <laughs> I'm gonna squeeze the shit out of you. Ah! I'm you think you're hot shit, don't you, cocaine bear? Look at me, lift all this weight. Oh my god, I'm a fucking snake. snake. <laughs> <laughs> so, cocaine bear. Because he lives in Florida, right? It's, What's that? It's, it's a Hulk Hogan snake, and he gets out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But Hulk Hogan only took vitamins. Just like uh, The Rock. I heard The Rock only takes vitamins. Um, he clean lives. A, and like my other lifting hero, Liver King. I've never heard of him in my life until recently. Yeah. But apparently he, he and eats he never, clean Yeah. And they they never ask what's in the vitamins. They just say, what is that? And then the doctor says vitamins. And then the guy goes, okay. Well, I don't even think they ask. It's just like, there's the shot. And when people say, what's that? What, what do you get put in your butt? Vitamins. Wait, what <laughs> shot? So Cocaine Bear stars Kerry Russell, O'Shea Jackson Jr., and Ray Liotta, who died in May, in one of his final films. So not his final film, but one of. It depicts the bear's drug-induced trail of terror and the victims he leaves behind. But Richard, this is where the story gets kind of sad, because the real story is less bloody. The the real story, let me guess, the real story is the, the bear does a bunch of cocaine and just basically dies. Yeah, pretty much, unfortunately. So oh, it all man. began, as you might guess, in the 80s. The Georgia Bureau of Investigation announced in December of 1985 that a 175-pound black bear had died. That's not a very big black bear. Do you think Do you think that the bear died because it did a bunch of cocaine and it didn't know when to stop? Or do you think the bear died because cocaine is bad for bears? Uh, like, do you I think, think the cocaine died of an overdose or do you think the bear died because it was cocaine and any amount would have killed it? I don't think any amount would have killed it, but I'm pretty sure that in here it said there was like, I saw somewhere where it said how much cocaine was in his belly. So the duffel bag that fell had roughly 75 pounds of cocaine. Jeez. All 40 bags of cocaine were opened and empty. Oh my god, this thing did 75 pounds. Sean, that would kill me like 40 times over. Some law enforcement like officers 400 question times over. whether the bear, later dubbed Pablo Escobar, or simply Cocaine Bear, had really destroyed or consumed 75 pounds of cocaine, or if some enterprising local had taken it. That seems, ex- I was a 75 pounds seems excessive. I feel like the bear would just like lay down before it managed to snort 75 pounds. Yeah. So a fatal dose for humans is a, the same Wait, So a fatal dose for a human being of the same size. So 175 pounds, that's not very big. Like I'm 185 pounds. So I'm 10 pounds more than this bear. Yeah. But 7.5 grams is the, uh, right. which, how much is that? Is that like, Cup of sugar? Um, Cup of booger sugar? Yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right. Let me see. Give or take. I hate this kind of math. Go from grams to cups. Oh, that damn... Oh, the metric system's messing with you. Uh, so if this site is right, so it's point zero three cups. Doesn't seem like much. Okay. No, it's not. So what you're saying is, but like, I mean, I get like you got to go off of like purity and you know, blah, 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 blah. So what you're saying is, when Scarface like did a big snuff out of that big pile, he probably would have died. That would have killed him. Yes. Okay. Which I mean, the bullets kind of did that too. The bullets, the bullets will also kill you and bears. Yeah. If I uh, mean, yeah. if we're since we're talking about it, yeah, and I'm kind of curious, like with uh. <gasps> Sean, the instead of instead of a uh, a methed out coyote, you have the peyote coyote. Oh yes, that's good. That's good. Like he's all calm, just goes on vision quests. 
<laughs> and he, oh my god, he leads Cocaine Bear on a vision quest. Yeah. And then the like drugs. Cocaine says, Bear's like, I don't know what I'm doing with my life. <laughs> and then the peyote coyote shows up. And he's come, like, come with me. And then come with Bear's me, like, Pablo. holy shit, a talking coyote. It's like, you're a talking bear. I know, but I'm high on cocaine. What are you high on? <laughs> peyote. <laughs> Did you see the size of that chicken? Oh, side note. Did you watch uh, the first episode of Willow? I did. Did you get the uh, um, reference when they're telling the horses to stop? No. It's from Young Guns. Oh. Yeah, I saw that and I was like, oh. Of course, I did see Young Guns probably like 300 times when I was a kid. (laughs) That is ancient word for stop. (laughs) Uh, so this in here says that um, – so the chief medical examiner at the Georgia State Crime Lab told the Kentucky for Kentucky Fun Mall, which currently exhibits the Bruin, that the bear's stomach was literally packed to the brim with cocaine, though he estimated the bear had absorbed only three to four grams of substance into its bloodstream at the time of its death. So okay, yeah, he probably – so it did, I don't think it overdosed. It was probably just like super high. But I mean, if its stomach was literally filled to the brim with cocaine, wouldn't it like wouldn't that kill him though over a certain period of time? Oh, I mean, yeah. But I, well, yeah. I don't know how drugs if work. He if he only ate- snorted, if he snorted three grams and ate a whole bunch more, yeah, he'd eventually die. So, like, if you know. take a if you take a spoonful of cocaine, does that do anything for you? No, not really. Really? No. I didn't know that. No. Why is it then like you, like? So, like, sometimes you, like, rub it on your gums to, like, numb oh. up your, you know. Yeah, I've seen them when they do or that. I've heard. I've heard that you movies. rub it on your gums. And I just assumed that that was, like, like they eat it. Like, they, like, because sometimes they, like, lick their finger, like. No. No, they're, rub, they're rubbing it on their, on their gums. So that's why I never get high when I do cocaine is because I eat the spoonful. I take it and ingest it. Yeah. It's not sugar. Some, it's not sugar, buddy. Some, well, they said booger sugar, and that sounded gross. And I'm like, I like regular sugar. Mix it in my tea. Yeah, we need to hang out in person more. I like it. It's time to learn. It's time to learn things. <laughs> this is why. This is why we never. We could never get a bear. A movie about a bear, a cocaine bear, made is because there's no life. You got no life experience. That's true. You gotta, you, yeah. You gotta grab it by the, you gotta grab the bear by the, by the key bump. Yeah, but so, but why when you ingest it, that would still get in your bloodstream, wouldn't it? Not as fast and not as potently. Oh, it would still do something, just not much. Yeah. So is it really it just like caffeine like, at that point? It doesn't work like, uh, it doesn't work like, uh, like edibles, like, 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 uh, like cannabis edibles, because those are like it's all liquid form and it's, it's. It's that that's how it's meant to be taken. Hmm. That's interesting. Learn something new today. I didn't have to go on my vision quest with Peyote Coyote. I just learned it from you. <laughs> I I legit I'm I'm pulling up a list of like illegal illegal street drugs. And I'm like, let me think of animals. I want <laughs> I want to put an animal with every single one of these. Yeah, but like you said, the story for the actual bear wasn't anything interesting except like apparently somebody discovered it and didn't mention it for like a couple days or something like that was in here. But uh, so the cocaine was apparently dropped from a plane piloted by Andrew Thornton, a convicted drug smuggler who died September 11th in Knoxville, Tennessee, because he was carrying too heavy a load while parachuting. The Bureau said the bear was found Friday in northern Georgia among 40 open plastic containers with traces of cocaine. The bear was found in the mountains of Flannan County, Georgia, just south of the Tennessee border. See, the actual story is really sad. So I guess kudos to Steve because he saw potential for a movie based on a very short and tragic story about a bear eating and snorting a little and eating a lot of cocaine. Yeah, because this really turns into kind of like a Jaws. Like this could be the Jaws of the new century. Like people are gonna be scared to go in the woods and do drugs. 
Because <laughs> if you did it like with the real yeah. story, it's it's more of a human story. Where this one is, it's more of about the bear. Oh God! And when they shoot it, I hope somebody says, "Smile, you son of a bitch." <laughs> I mean, they're pulling. We don't know how the move. We don't know how the movie ends. Maybe the bear just like goes off into the woods. Maybe the bear survives. <laughs> he survives and goes to rehab. <laughs> <laughs> Is it nature versus nurture? Well, I think it's just because we introduced oh God, cocaine in the rehab, woods. And that's where it goes to rehab, and that's where it meets all the other animals. Because it goes to, like, a wildlife sanctuary, and that's where <laughs> it meets all the other animals. Oh, that's, yeah. That's he gets- where it meets the, you know, the peyote coyote and the steroid snake and PCP shark. They go to jail, which is actually just a zoo. <laughs> I like the messed it. out cougar peyote coyote pcp shark heroin hawks heroin good. hawk yeah those are all good i like our, our need German one for shepherd. acid um hmm i was thinking like a lemur because acid's like lsd so you have the lsd lemur hmm yeah maybe i don't know i was trying to think of something like salamander lcd tree lemur or maybe just LCD, yeah. Uh, you know. The LS, oh. the LS, the LSD lemur. Yeah, that was pretty know. good. Or an ox, an ox on oxy. Ooh, the oxy ox. But that's just sad because he like goes into like old folks. You know homes. what? We need to no. We need to end. We need to stop the show because we're giving <laughs> too much away. That's true. Yep. Well, it's as always, good. though, it's, it's too good. As always, though, copyright. Richard and Sean, Language of Romance. That's right. 2022. Don't you forget a copyright. Yeah. All right. Well, it applies to the last. The yeah. As we are all of it, bringing this plane in with 70 pounds of cocaine that we're not going to give to this bear. <laughs> what do you have for some Richard closing thoughts? Um, the real monster is man. <laughs> Well, because I mean, like, they're like the only reason all these animals are doing all this stuff is because we provide it. Well, cocaine's found in nature. Yeah, but not not in that form. I like mean, uh, taking it and chopping it and and you know and smashing it and baking it. But like uh, um, coffee beans, like they found out about those because goats were eating them, and then they get all like happy and hoppy. And somebody's like, "Wait, why? What do these beans do?" Um, nature provides that's, that's what I'll end it with. Nature provides. <laughs> All right. Well, let me do a little bit of housekeeping. Visit our website. We're at language Follow us on Twitter at language bro emails at bros language And as always, we like to thank our executive producer for all these amazing ideas that we come up with. Wendy and Aaron, you will all get special credit for, the creation of the drug induced animal universe. Yeah. Narcotic Animals Anonymous, the NAA. Yeah. All right. Well, is there yeah. anything else before we close out? I got to get to a coffee shop and start writing these scripts up. <laughs> no, you're going to be a busy, busy boy. <laughs> I'm going to be a busy beaver. <laughs> a busy beaver on what's something that starts with a B? Speed. The Speedy Beaver. <gasps> yes. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, that's all the bros we have for this show. I'm Sean. And I'm Richard. And remember, don't be a why. Be a why not. not. Don't give animals drugs. Keep them for yourself. <laughs> <laughs>